Marina Moreno, membre du jury du Cap Spartel Film Festival, a elle-même posé les questions au scénariste français Jacques Fieschi, qui parle en anglais de ses projets d'exposition à Tanger. Il se confie sur son rôle d'écrivain du 7e art, une interview exclusive pour un média britannique. Merci pour l'interview, et si vous voulez dire votre nom, je suis sûr que vous serez mieux que moi en le prononçant. Et si vous pouvez nous dire un petit peu sur votre travail. Mon nom est Jacques Fieschi. I'm um, mostly a screenwriter, also mm -hmm. I wrote a few novels and I directed two films. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm here in, uh, in Tangiers, be part of the Cap Spartel Film Festival. And uh, I did what uh, is somehow pompously called a masterclass. Okay. <laughs> And thanks. And um, also, um, I was interested to know if there were any artists, who mm. either from the past or contemporary, that have influenced you in your work, if you can think of some, uh, if you are or not. Writing films, you know, it can happen, but you know, from time to time, you know, uh, a <laughs> painter I'm very fond of is Caravaggio, and sometimes, you know, as far as the presentation of bodies are, are shown in Caravaggio painting, you know, that, that could be an inspiration for me. Uh, also, uh, but more, in a novel I wrote, you know, I was kind of influenced by Francis Bacon for the depiction of bodies too, in a literary way. And which uh, film? That's a book, a novel. Oh, sorry. That's a novel. The, the novel was called L'Eternel Garçon. Eternel Garçon. Uh -huh. was published the by Ga Glass. Yeah, exactly, that was published by Grasset a few years ago. And also now have, it's, it's not really an answer to your question, but you know, I have a big project with a French Cinematheque, mm -hmm. which is an exhibition about Los Angeles. And Los Angeles, you know, it be a programmation of films, like 100 films, and also in 12 chapters, it, there would be the story and the mythology uh, of the of the city, uh, told by you know the the works of artists that can be painters, uh, uh, photographers, uh, video artists, uh, things like that. So it's a big. Pro ambitious tentacular project I've got now and I think it's going to be done in two years in the French Cinematheque. Oh, fantastic, sounds really good. Mm. And uh, um, you spoke this morning, you spoke mm. about a film that you made about Cannes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you tell me a bit more about this uh, idea of, well, you can tell me about it. Actually, it's, a, it's a originally a book by Georges Simon, with a book written in the 30s taking place in Cannes, but it uh, it happened that, you know, when I arrived in France, I was born in was born in North Africa, I was born in Algeria, not very far from here. And then uh, I went to Cannes. When I was um, an adolescent, I lived in Cannes till my, my baccalaureate. And so I knew the ambiance in, in Cannes during winter, which is, you know, a very <laughs> dead, uh, a dull, mo long moment between mm -hmm. the end of the summer after the vacation is over until the film festival which suddenly turns into a, 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 a very crazy effervescence uh, and very international. But it's not a provincial town. Uh, it's something, you know, uh, a, a very strange type of vacuum mm -hmm. uh, has got its own poetry. And uh, I had the idea, knowing this, uh, this kind of urban mood, to, uh, to make a, an adaptation of this book, but taking place now, uh, and uh, using also uh, uh, people who live there and who are exiles. And uh, these people, the, the main characters, were actually Serbian exiles, uh, you know, night people and things like that. So it's not a very moralizing story. It's kind of violent story too, mm -hmm. but uh, it is the expression of uh, all these years I spent in this very strange, uh, 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 empty but poetic city, which is Cannes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I just think this is very inspirational for me because, like oh. I said, I'm from Venice and yeah. I 
find the same about Vienna. Yeah, but in Venice, Venice you have all the churches and all the museums and all but, that's uh, slightly there different. Is dif <laughs> there is a difference, believe me, about the Biennale and what's happening and then this I know, vacuum. I'm sure. So I, wa I was in Venice in, uh, for Christmas once, you know, I had a wonderful mm -hmm. memory there. It was a, t there was a snow coming from the Judeca oh, okay. in Vaporetto and uh, at, you know, at daylight mm -hmm. and you know, and with all the city covered with snow, it was a very beautiful experiment. But I mm. know mm. actually, I, I know it's also very, you know, nothing happens much there. Then comes the it's Lido the, moment. This different, yeah, that's right, the cinema and all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. It's a real pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.